Hey, welcome from the break. Uh, interesting story there, um, GH Startup. Uh, I promised that we would have the public relations head of the um, Ghana Police Service in our studios, and he is here with me, um, ACP David Oklu. You're warmly welcome. Thank you. Eklu. Yeah, Eklu. Yes, please. Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you. How are you doing? Fine. Wonderful. Yeah. And uh, we want to talk um, about, you know, the Operation Calm Life and, you know, take a good look at, you know, the fight against security. How has that been so far? I think that um, for the past two weeks or so, we have switched gear mm. from the normal patrol mm. to targeted areas okay. where we believe and suspect that there are criminals who use those places as safe haven mm. to plan their operations. So instead of waiting till the crime is committed, mm. we are taking the fight, as they say, to the doorsteps of the criminal. Mm. So for the past two weeks or so, we've been, conduct we've been conducting what we call targeted troops, okay. where combined teams of police, military, and even in the, some of the regions, the security agencies, law, other law enforcement agencies mm. are also involved okay. where we visit these areas. and. Um, uh, people that we suspect mm. that they are in possession of items adapted to commit crime, mm. people that we suspect may be preparing to commit crime, okay. and people who are also harboring criminals mm. were picked up. Okay. Uh, the first operation was on the 12th of um, September this okay. year, uh, this month, yeah. at Buduburam, yeah. where 162 suspects were mm. rounded up. Wow. 147 meals and 50 meals. Mm. Um, after screening, yeah. means the questioning and then checking their records, mm. 47, 57 of them were released unconditionally, okay. and 102 are currently on police inquiry bill. Okay. And they are supposed to be reported periodically for us to cross check okay. and make sure that if they have any intention of committing a crime, mm. they will not commit it. Okay. So that they, it, is, it is a strategy of making sure that we check violent crime. Mm. It's also in line with the IGPs, the new IGP directive that yeah. we should be more robust mm -hmm. in making sure that we check crime. We prevent it before it is committed. Mm. So if you read in the news or we heard about soups, 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 yeah. it is an ongoing national exercise mm. that is taking place in almost all the regions yeah. to make sure that you feel safe, everybody in the country feels safe. Okay, so yeah. in light of that, nobody has been arrested or they've been arrested but they go... They've been arrested. Yes. Sometimes you visit an area and you pick about 260 people mm. They are taken through what we call screening. Okay. You are questioned. Yeah. You are, we check our database to find out whether you don't have any criminal records. Yes. Or you are, there are people who we suspect might have yeah. committed a crime, but they ran away. Yeah. So that is the process of the screening. Okay. Some were even put before court in uh -huh. second D. Okay. And uh, they'll be remanded up to the 26th of this month. Okay. Same in the northern region and other parts of the country. Those that we have found items we think are connected to crime. For example, some of the ladies were selling alcohol laced with narcotic drugs. Oh, wow. Some of them were in possession of uh, electrical gadgets mm. for which we could not establish who the owner was. Exactly. Some of them were also found with implements mm. that are that may be adapted to break into rooms and other things oh, wow. like that. And then some also were arrested for harboring criminals. Oh. There are criminals that we have declared wanted and they were providing safe haven for, the, uh, for these criminals. Mm. So it ranges, the crimes ranges from all this. Yeah. And that is the basis for this operation. Oh, interesting. Mm. Uh, after the relaunch of the, the operation, it was stated that um, the Ghana Police Service would be you know, given logistical support by the military. How, how far has um, that come as well? Not the military, but government has actually equipped us. Okay. We have over 500 vehicles now. Oh. So you can see that police has become more mobile now. Mm. We are able to respond quickly to emergency calls and situations like, mm -hmm. and the police has become even more visible. Yeah. But this program is part of, this operation is part of the ongoing operation Come Life yeah. that was started last year uh, to make sure that we, we, we have support yeah. from the military and other law enforcement agencies mm. so that we are not seen to be working in silos as far as um, internal security, security is concerned. So okay. it, it is a boost to our, an already existing arrangement for the, the military to support the police mm. in internal security. So the 500 vehicles, is it only in Accra 
or it's been they are all in the regions and then some of the districts that have never had a vehicle mm. now have a vehicle okay. that they can move and respond to emergency situations and mm -hmm. they can also use it for patrols and also uh, support the citizens in our fight against crime okay so, yeah. so what are some of the challenges that you faced um, with this operation uh, so far it has been quite encouraging Public support is good, mm -hmm. but we think that the public should give us more information okay. so that we can, our operations will be more targeted so that we can get the people that we, we should get to mm -hmm. face the full rigors of the law. But so far, I think that it has been quite useful mm -hmm. and uh, we'll continue in that state. It's, it's going to be part of our daily or weekly or monthly operational activities to make sure that we tackle issues of violent crime, mm -hmm. to make sure that we work with the communities to make everybody feel safer in this okay. country. Yeah. That's that's a really good one. And before before you go, and um, we know that there are some police officers who have been injured, you know, um, on duty and so and so. Um, what is their what is the security that they are also being offered? Yes, the, we have the support from the police administration mm. and also from government. For example, the the we lost two officers at Kaswa. Mm. Uh, one was buried earlier because he was a Muslim. Mm. The second one was also buried over the weekend. Okay. And the vice president was there. Mm. They've all been promoted posthumously. Mm. And then some support is also going to their families, mm. at least to be able to uh, mitigate the pain that they are going through and all that. In addition to that, the government has also directed that we increase the safety of our officers. Okay. So we have now have uh, about 4,500 flag jackets that we use in operations to improve safety. Mm -hmm. And there are also more logistics in the often that uh, are meant to enhance our operations okay. to be near to the safety of the public. Safety of the public. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, ACP. I want you to reiterate your advice to the public one more time. This operation is not meant to harass anybody. It's meant to protect members of the public. So people should not be feel afraid mm. when they see police officers with military and other law enforcement agencies. Our goal is to make sure that everybody in the country feels safe. Mm. So give us the information, give us the necessary support, and we can work hand in glove to make sure that we have, we cut down on violent crime and other uh, criminal activities in the criminal country. Activities. Yeah. Good one there. Thank you so much, ACP Iklu, for joining us in our studios. And I believe that we have so, um, given this, um, the citizens of Ghana some good advice to, to work on um, and to work with. Um, we would be back after the break where we will have an interview with Victor. And uh, stay with us.